Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and once again, I am back with the Tinkercad house. Today, my friends, I'm going to give you one of my favorite upgrades, so let's get cracking. All right, so we started this house earlier. If you missed those lessons, I will put a link up above so that you can click on them and get caught up and then join this when you're ready. When you load Tinkercad, you just hit Tinker This to get back to your project you started. All right, friends, so our project today is going to be to create a door that we can actually open and close like it's on a hinge. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and I'm gonna grab our characters. Notice it says four shapes and I'm gonna use the button called hide. They still exist, they're just not in my door's way. If you remember right, we did not group these unless you were smarter than me, which is possible. Right now I'm gonna grab both those shapes and I'm gonna hit group so they are one piece don't forget after you do that, you can hit multicolor so you keep your multiple colors. If the door handle's on this side, it's gonna swing this way. All right, so the trick works like this. Bring out a cylinder, hold down shift, stretch it to Crazyville, type the number two and press enter. This is the pivot point for our door. We're gonna make it crazy tall because we're gonna hide the actual part that helps it rotate down below the ground move this to the edge of the door where you want it to rotate. I'm gonna use the arrow keys to nudge it in and then I'm gonna push it way down below. So that door is gonna rotate around that spot. Now let's go underneath, put the work plane on that end, look at it from above so you can see it is below ground and let's bring out the tube. I want you to take that tube and we need to make it larger than the door. So we're gonna use a radius of 30. We're gonna use a wall thickness of one. And then if we fit view, we're gonna make it thin. That lets us see this. We're gonna make it one millimeter thick. Up to you if you wanna make it round. I'm gonna just because it's kinda cool. And then here's the important part we need to center them. So I'm going to shift select, align, make sure that you set the tall post as the master, and then get on those middle dots. We want middle that way, and we want middle that way. Now if you look at it from the top, you can see that it is exactly in the middle. Let's set the work plane back to the ground. Click your door, hold down shift, select the ring and group them. If multicolor shuts off, make sure you turn it back on. And here's the cool part. If we fit view to the project, now if you click your door, it opens and closes. All right, friends, let me see if I can make this make sense to you. What we did was we added a pin, which would be like the real hinge on a door, and then we linked it to the cylinder. Customize this a little bit. Notice this rotation ring works like a champ, but it's a long ways from the object we're rotating. We can fix that by double clicking. So now we're in edit mode, and then click on the ring. Now if we had been planning ahead, our door is 10 across. So if we make the radius the same as the size of the shape, so I'm going to put 10, and then click to lock it back in. Now when we click on that door, that rotation handle is closer to the door and it works the same. It's just a little more visually pleasing as you're building these cool rotatable objects. To make a mailbox, let's bring out a box. Let's set the work plane on top of that box. Notice it was click and click, and then let's bring out the round roof. Let's put the work plane back down to the ground Let's grab both items and make sure they're aligned. They should be, because I was pretty close at lining those up, but we just make sure. Once we've got them aligned, simply hit group, and then we're gonna cut it out with the same shape, so let's make a duplicate and move it over here. Stretch your length, I'm gonna choose 35. So to subtract, I'm gonna choose 33 for the second one. This height was 30, so I'm gonna make this one 26. What I'm doing is leaving two on every side. 
this was 20. So I'm going to change this one to 16. Once again, taking away 4. And then I'm going to make it a hole. And then I'm going to select them both. So it's just drag and touch, align. And we want them aligned in the middle. So I'm making this the master. I want them aligned up and down. I'm going to tilt this so you can see better how that's perfect now. And then I'm also going to align it at the front edge. And when we group that, we have just cut out our mailbox. Now, if you're watching, yes, the mailbox is larger than our whole house. We're going to fix that by just doing shift shrink to get it to the size you want your mailbox to be. I think that right there will be acceptable. I'm going to move it out to the front of the house. I'm going to bring out a post to put it on. Once again, I'm going to hold shift and squish it till I like the size of it. I'm going to do three, but then I'm going to make it tall. Let's line these two up. So I'm grabbing so I can select the two of them. I'm going to do a line. I'm going to make the mailbox the master. I'm going to go center. I'm going to go center. And then I'm going to raise the mailbox up. This is one of my favorite tricks. I'm going to set the work plane on top. Click the shape I want to move, and when we hit the letter D, it drops to that exact height. Let's put the work plane back to the ground. Let's pick our colors. I'm going to make the post wooden. I'm going to make the mailbox white. I'm going to use this same piece to actually make the door that opens. So we're just going to hit duplicate. And then I'm going to use the arrow keys to pull it towards me. And we need the entire piece without the hole. So we're just going to ungroup it. And we're going to delete that hole. And then we're going to make it skinny so it looks like the door. Instead of 1, I'm going to make it 0.5. I just think that'll look a little more cool. And then I'm going to attach it right to the front by putting the work plane on that edge. And then if I hit D, it'll drop it right to it. I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground. Let's line those up by doing Shift Select, Align, click the white one to make it the master, and make sure it's lined up just like you'd expect it to be. So back to making it so it can open. And I'm going to set the color to white first. This one we want to rotate on a pin right here. So hit your work plane, bring out your cylinder, hold down shift and stretch it to crazyville. But we're going to type the number 2. Move it to the exact spot you want to rotate around. I think that's going to look pretty decent if it rotates through that center. And then stretch it out nice and long. So I'm putting these rotation handles outside the world. That's my strategy. And then we want to put the rotation sensor out here on this end. So let's do work plane and get on the end of that pole. Bring out another tube. This time, I already know it's pretty small, so I'm just going to do uh, 15. I'm going to make the side 64 again. Let's make the skinniness 1, and let's make the wall thickness 1. We need to align it, so I'm going to do Shift, and I'm going to select that tube, align, make the tube the master, make sure I go middle, and middle. Delete the tube, and let's do Shift, select just on that front of the mailbox, and group. We have to turn the multicolor back on. And I'm going to set the work plane to the ground. And if we click that door, it has got a rotation handle out here. See, I'm way to the left. That lets us open and close the mailbox. All right, if you're looking closely, I just noticed that my mailbox is taller than the door to my house. So I'm going to select that all. And I'm going to do Shift squish so that it shrinks a little bit. 
I think that is a lot more appropriate to the size of the building. This is a little closer than I want. So if you double click, you're in edit mode and I can just use the arrow keys to move that outside the work plane. I just like when my little rotation handles are not visible or totally visible when you look at the project. All right, friends, so now I hope you understand this technique. And then my challenge for you is if you can figure out other places you could use it. Like maybe you add a flag to the mailbox. Maybe you put walls inside your house and have doors that open inside your house as well. Remember when you're working, you can always use that hide button so you can see in as you adjust things. And then this, my friends, is the show all that brings back our cool friends we added to our house so that you can have all of these things put together. Friends, if you do make something awesome, please take time to use the share button. If you go down here and hit invite people and you generate a link, if you copy that and send it to me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, or even in an email at HLModTech in Gmail, I'll be able to get in, check out your design, and give you the kudos you deserve for all the hard work you're doing. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HLModTech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.